Welcome to the Answers for You Express NIH Data Management and Sharing Plan. This short lesson will introduce you to the new requirements that were effective January the 25th, 2023. Be aware of the new NIH policy on data management and sharing. It is effective for applications submitted on January the 25th, 2023 and after. Beginning on this date, NIH will require researchers to submit a data management plan as part of their application. This policy applies to all research funded or conducted in whole or in part by NIH that results in the generation of scientific data. The plan will be part of the budget justification section of the proposal and will be limited to two pages or less. The following elements should be included in each plan. Data type, including a description of the scientific data to be managed, preserved, and shared. Related to rules, software, and or code. You should explain if any specialized tools are needed to access or manipulate shared scientific data. Data standards, description of common data standards, if any, applied to the scientific data and associated metadata. Data, preservation, access, and associated timeline. This includes a list of repositories where data will be archived, as well as documentation of how data will be discoverable and when it will be made available. Access, distribution, or reuse considerations. Oversight of data management and sharing. Explain any issues affecting subsequent access, distribution, or reuse of data. Oversight of data management and sharing. Provide the plan for how compliance will be monitored and managed. Updates have been made to the Forms H version of the NIH grant application forms. A new Other Plans field has been added to the PHS 398 proposal forms to collect a single data management and sharing plan as a PDF attachment. Note the data management sharing plan will not be visible to peer reviewers, except for certain funding opportunities for the data sharing focus. The top example reflects how to show data management and sharing costs in the detailed R&R budget form. All direct costs for data management and sharing activities, including personnel costs specific to those activities, must be included in the single line item on the budget form. The line item must be titled Data Management and Sharing Cost. Do not combine data management and sharing costs with any other cost. If no cost will be incurred, enter zero in the funds requested column. The bottom example reflects a PHS 398 modular budget form. For an application using the modular budget, use the additional narrative justification in the PHS modular budget form and include a section clearly labeled data management and sharing justification, followed by the requested dollar amount. If no cost will be incurred, enter zero for the requested dollar amount. Also include a brief justification of the proposed activities that will incur cost. If you have some awards, all DMS costs must be included in a, as a single line item in the prime applicant's budget. All subrecipients should discuss data sharing costs with the prime to ensure agreement on all cost. On this slide, the top example shows where the budget justification is attached when using the R&R budget form. The bottom example shows where the justification is attached for a modular budget. In the budget justification, supporting details, including a breakdown of any personal effort, must be outlined in the budget justification attachment in a clearly labeled section, data management and sharing justification. The recommended length of the justification should be no more than half a page. If there are no anticipated data management and sharing costs, this should be noted in the budget justification. In the section clearly labeled data management and sharing costs include the requested dollar amount. Enter zero for the requested dollar amount if no cost will be incurred and a brief justification of the proposed activities that will incur. 
provide a summary of the type and amount of scientific data to be preserved and shared in the name of the established repository where they will be preserved. Indicate general cost categories such as curating data and developing supporting documentation. Local data management considerations preserving and sharing data to established repositories. Peer review does not see or review the DMS plan, but will consider related budget items. In preparation for an award during the just-in-time process, NIH program staff ensure that the elements of the DMS plan have been adequately addressed. NIH program staff will work with the PI to make any needed changes to the plan. Applications will only be funded when the DMS plan is complete and acceptable. If needed, plans may be updated through the award life cycle. Approved plans become a term and condition of the award. Progress on implementing the plan is reported in the annual research performance progress report and is reviewed annually by NIH for compliance. NIH has provided resources on their website. The resources include instructions on writing a data management and sharing plan, frequently asked questions, and sample plans. Links to the various NIH institutes or centers data sharing policies. Investigators are encouraged to read the specific policy of this institute or center that they are applying to, and to reach out to program officers with questions about specific requirements. There is also information regarding selecting a repository. The Texas A&M University Library Data Management section has many valuable resources available. The link included on the slide will take you to their webpage. From this page, you can access the DMP tool to create data management plans. Plan early and take the stress out of creating your data management and sharing plan.